Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. It says here, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. So this is an interesting passage. It says, first of all, that we are not, we are not saved by works. But then in verse 10, it says we are saved to good works. Saved to good works. Saved by grace and yet judged by works. So how can it be? Let's reason from the scripture. First of all, someone had to pay for my sins. Romans 3 verses 25 says this. Romans 3 verse 25. It says, Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation or a mercy seat, a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. The cost is unfathomable. 1 Peter 1, verses 18 and 19 says that it was paid for by the precious blood of Jesus. Can you begin to imagine what that might be? Christ became my substitute. He paid the wages for my sins. The Bible says in Romans 6, 23, that the wages of sin is death. He paid the wages. Some wages, huh? The Bible says that I have nothing good to bring, Romans 7, 18. All my righteousness is as filthy rags, even the best things I do, Isaiah 64, verse 6. The Bible says in many ways we all offend, James 3, verse 2. I understand that that's in the present continuous tense, which says in many things we all offend every day. I might have to ask myself sometime, who did I offend today, this morning, or this afternoon? But the good news of the gospel says that God imputes, reckons, accounts to us his obedient life, the obedient life of Jesus. That's the definition of justification. Justification means just as if I had never sinned. It means that God looks at me as though I had never ever sinned. If you enjoyed this study today, I would invite you to come and reason together with us on Sabbath morning, the seventh day of the week, at the Seventh-day Adventist Church, 777 Highway 92 in Sierra Vista. We would love to have you. Please come and worship with us, the great King, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm.